you think about it, a roof is just a thing that's constantly about to crush you. So they made a new they made a new video game trailer for the upcoming video game Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is the Indeed game with did. you like those games with the guns, right? It's been becoming a little difficult to the gun lookers. continue loving that series. Obviously, I do like. But it. But have you but seen yeah. the new trailer? I mean, of course, Call of Duty it's is going to put out such a cool trailer. No, I'm, I'm if, sure it's super cool. If you don't have the noise on. It shows a lot of great, it shows like all the fun things. It's got grappling hooks and robots. It shows and, all the awesome stuff. Like a horse running out of a burning building. Duh. I, think I do like that they have grappling, footage. I do like that they have grappling hooks and robots in this one. Right, no, no, it's they a lot. They span a few years. A lot yeah, of exciting you know. things going on there. The thing that's really bad about the trailer is they've just got like ACDC's back in black. <laughs> ACDC should be banned from all trailers Forever, because ACDC is not hardcore anymore. ACDC <laughs> is like your dad school pretending to be boys. hardcore. It's little schoolgirl yeah. boys. It's like what you game. use when you're making a trailer for Tropic Thunder, right? It's like a yeah. parody of tough guy but music. Especially when they especially always want to use it. Back in Black, yeah. which is yeah. li basically a paraphrasing of Black Ops 2. Yeah. Like there's really, you could move a word there and it's like, okay, we get it. It's like, that's not even, that's like a, that's like a one bit joke. Yeah. Like a, it's like a bad movie tagline, but it's applied yeah. to an entire trailer over like two and a half minutes. Yeah. So it's just cheesy. I yeah. mean, it's just well, trying to hype stuff It's up. so surreal to me that we have gotten to a point with video games where it is an industry where what you just described is not for a hundred million dollar movie starring a famous guy that everybody knows. It's for a video game. Yeah. The fact, like when you have a trailer announcement to announce that your trailer is coming, it's pretty big media. That's a yeah. pretty big media tactic. And oh, yeah. it just seems over the top and ridiculous for video games. I feel I like, like it's all just like kind of their whole scheme for developing you like, know, their, their audience. It's and, like they're trying to trick us into watching these things. Or wanting it by yeah. drilling it into your head and thinking Wait, it's cool. Well, I think, the, I think the trailers are, it's a weird thing because you got all different kinds of, remember Dead Island? Remember the Dead Island trailer? Oh, yeah. it's the best part of Dead Island. That so was that was like a separate <laughs> movie about Dead Island. That was a great, yeah. that was a really great good. game yeah. if they hadn't actually released the game. I wish <laughs> I would have I would have maybe enjoyed Dead Island for a longer period of time if it was played slow motion and backwards. Right. No, like I, I that would have like they should have just That's made it match thing. the trailer. It becomes so misleading if they like hype stuff up too yeah. much or cut too much out or focus on too little or whatever. I mean, yeah. it's What's crazy it's like, like if you're wanting to really play the video game and you see the trailer, I feel like it just doesn't even matter. Because yeah. it's not showing. Well, everybody wants to see gameplay and they're always right. angry when there's no gameplay being shown. That's just, right. that's a sad reality. Uh, I'm so, okay with a CG trailer here and there if it's like well done. I was watching the uh, the Saints Row one for mm -hmm. Saints Row the Third, which had um, you know Kanye West power playing. Yeah, that was like, really good. Like I watched that trailer and it gave me it gave me chills again. Yeah. And that's like pretty a pretty fair assessment of what the game is like. Yeah. It doesn't look like the game was play like that. It's not cinematic or like you know, but it's still. Uh, it was like a sort of weird little side story. Yeah. It's like a short film almost. Yeah, that's how like Mr. Mr. Pandaria is. Is like yeah. it shows the pandas like so badass. Except and they're just there's like, like I cannot just, deal with no. that panda trailer. What? I cannot. Why do we why fight? fight? Is to ask why the leaves fall. Like, yeah. Well, there's actually a lot of well, reasons for that. All right, we'll get into like more of the details. No, and but stuff. look, like, the pandas. Look, that's like racist animal. The video game. The trailer. That's what that take, whole take, thing but is. I'm talking solely about <laughs> the fact that it takes one element and kind of makes it like a yeah. mini like yeah. movie or whatever. So what makes a good trailer then? It, it depends on the not game. Not ACDC. Definitely not ACDC. Mm -hmm. Cold doesn't know what they're doing. Apparently. Some horses in a, in a barn fire. <laughs> I don't care what the game is. That could be like Cooking Mama, and I'd be like, oh my God, those horses are freaking out. Those horses are in a burning building. I mean, I like, I, it, when you look at trailers that have really worked for me this year, uh, all the Borderlands 2 stuff was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Borderlands okay, 2 Border stuff Borderlands, was really good. The first one I love because it was the Wub Wub one. Yeah. And they were like, oh, making fun of the dubstep overuse in trailers. Mm -hmm. And then to follow that up, they were like, what else should we use? And they used the friggin' Lion King song, mm -hmm. the Wim Away, whatever. But it, they have such a good amount of, you do get that gameplay. You do get some CG stuff. You get a little bit of story. You get a little bit of action. Um, the music is good. Mm -hmm. Like it's that's a good trailer. Yeah. yeah, it feels like it feels like it does have like a little something for everyone. I kind of like when they focus a little bit on one element that is a little more extended, and they kind of like I think yeah. that makes it intriguing and makes. I mean, play. if you're gonna be doing the whole like sort of the tasteful, classy slow mo shit, 
Uh, it, first of all, it has to be for a game that involves some element of that. It can't mm -hmm. be like a weird co-op shooter. Obviously, you know? like um, Gears original trailer yeah. with Mad World. And, and if you're gonna be that doing like the, oh God, the so you know, the slow mo like angsty stuff, it's mm -hmm. like that's that's great. But like you know, commit to it. The new, the Dishonored trailer where they were mm -hmm. playing like what would you do with a drunken sailor? And it was all like super slow mo and all like really artsy. And, and Dishonored we know is like a is like a classy ritzy game. Yeah, that's like a pretty game. And there's lots of like. They yeah. can do like slow mo shots of like the the harbor and stuff. Yeah. But then the, the second half of that trailer is just neck stabbing, just repeated neck stabbing. Yeah. I'm like that doesn't. I get your. You heard somebody once say the word juxtaposition, I was gonna say. and you're kind of going for that, but no, no, not okay. Not, not doing oh, it. Oh god! And there was the the Transformers Fall of Cybertron trailer. Uh, I liked that a lot. Actually. I liked it too. If they turn the sound off, <laughs> so maybe this is an Activision problem. I don't know. That was the most badass trailer because it's Grimlock. He's well, audio is the most intrusive. They gotta, they gotta. They like, have like a song about about taking a boat on a river and it's like crossing the river of Hades. It's like this old weird kind of like you know Preach it. modern rock gospel kind of thing. And I'm like, they mentioned the word river in a song that's about that they're using a trailer for a game about robots on an entirely robotic planet. There's no rivers. Like I don't 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 symbolism me. You've yeah. got a robot turning into a dinosaur. That's what I mean. I feel like they kind of pull out <laughs> things that are out of context and they throw it together. That's your problem. It's so is your problem. It's, <laughs> it's retarded. <laughs> That's your, there are no rivers on robot. There are no rivers on robot. One out of five. Planet. Worst trailer. What is that? <laughs> That's something you can use ACDC for. Because if you're still somebody who thinks without a hint or trace of irony that Transformers is really badass. Mm -hmm. I love Transformers, it is really badass, but you gotta admit, you know, it's been around since 1984. Yeah. A robot turns into a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Have some ACDC in there, you know? Do who, do who made who? That's a perfect song I for don't a Transformers know if they can trailer. I keep up with all your rules. I have no idea. I need to make when a ACDC more is okay. rules. Sounds like you don't have any rules. Sounds like you're arbitrarily choosing what makes a yeah. good trailer yep. and what it's doesn't make a good trailer. Well, I have a question though. Yeah. How do you feel about like dialogue in trailers? Is it does it make it cheesy automatically? Because I feel like that's a common thing in trailers. Is the dialogue cheesy? Well, it has to do with whether it has it's to do narrated game, or right? dialogue. But so, any, I think any talking in a trailer kind of makes it seem kind of like okay, no, like no way. I mean, because if you have a game that's like a Dishonored or a Bioshock or or something that's story heavy like that, where the story is good and you mm -hmm. know you're dealing with a good story. Yeah, I want dialogue. Do I want dialogue in a Gears trailer? I don't even want dialogue in Gears. <laughs> I, don't, I just, I Guess need them to true. zip it. I need them to zip Marcus, it. Marcus, shut your mouth. Marcus, your dad is dead, but you're also 47. Get so. Over it. Grow up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like trailer, there's such this weird necessary evil and I think most people feel like, dude, just give me two and a half minutes of gameplay. Yeah. That's I would why take I like... two and a half minutes of gameplay over any trailer you try to put out to hype me up for oh, a video easily. game. Yeah. They're not movies. But also They're not movies. I want to know what the game looks like. Aren't necessarily for you though. No, that's like true. like we know what the game looks like. We've seen gameplay, so having mm -hmm. just like a nice a nice collage of like crazy cool things going on then I, I guess don't know. We I think that most I think if you're detail. seeking stuff out, I would I would venture that most people seeking things out about a video game know enough to know to look for gameplay. Yeah. Above and beyond a trailer. Yeah. Right? So a trailer wouldn't really So I mean you be make your trailer interest. it's weird because you make your trailer for TV and I understand that. Make a trailer for TV, show it to my mom and dad, yeah. show it to my family, show it to people who don't play games. But don't I don't think trailers need to be on every video game blog listed as like top news of the day, like that sort of thing. I, I really wish that like more as, as gaming media, I wish we'd just be like, no, that's cool. We enjoy your trailer. Please get back to us when you have gameplay yeah. or new information about your game. Well, then it makes me wonder now if it's kind of just like a, the thing you do or like, it's like the, the like, kind of like an art form sort of, like the trailer is just comes with the whole ramping up to release I mean, it's, game. Just, it's a sizzle really. You're yeah. getting people in the mood for it, you know. Yeah. Even if it's, even if it's like completely just indulgent CG and it's, it's showing, you know, just plot stuff, even if it's like an action heavy game, it's like, Doing that is getting people in the mindset of what the game is supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But. Just show me, just show me a game clip, and it would do the same thing. You sure? Well, yeah. Because a lot of games don't look fun. The reason that Blizzard has those crazy panda videos is because. Well, you know why World of Warcraft doesn't look fun? Because it does. You saying it, not me. Because, because it's not 
It's super fun. Um, because it is and always looks fun? Because it's not super fun at all. It's a click fest and you're playing as a panda now. They got you. I would like to watch. They got movie. you. I would like to watch it like a big budget CG movie. There was like a movie. Is there about any a kung movie? fu panda? Yeah, like a panda wow. that knows kung fu. You guys are so I feel clever. like they might have done that. There was like the, a. In, I think it was in one of the Shrek movies. I would, but you know what? I don't want it to be super serious like that World of Warcraft trailer. If there was like a little humor to it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe get someone to voice it. That God, who would really I get to voice? Okay, your game sucks. 